Greetings, greetings, my beautiful brothers and sisters. It's your girl, TT, and you know my job. Y'all know why I'm here. I am just here to pour the tea of love, inspiration, and motivation. So today, I ain't gonna hold you long. We're gonna talk a little bit about faith. Let's, let's, let's do a little faith talk. So what is faith? I know you guys hear it all the time. What is faith? And if you look at the um, biblical terms of faith, faith is insurance of things hoped for. The conviction of things not seen. If you Google it or look it up in your dictionary, you will see that faith is the complete trust or confidence in someone or something. So my question to you is, do you have faith? Do you? Yes, you do. You see, we put our confidence in a lot of things. And I, I heard earlier this week, and I want to share it with you. I heard earlier this week, um, I heard someone say, you can get on a plane and get real comfortable and relaxed. And you don't even know the pilot. He get on there, he say his name, but you don't know him. And you have the confidence in that he's going to take you to your destination. Okay, we got another one. You can get on a bus. Don't even know the driver. You get on there, fall asleep, nod off, and you get real relaxed. And you don't know nothing about that driver, but you have the confidence in that driver that they're going to get you to where you need to go. All right, you can get uh, you can get on a train. Don't even know the engineer. Again, you have faith. You have the confidence that they will get you to your destination, right? Do you understand what I'm saying? Let me bring it down because some of you like, I don't even ride. I don't even get on no planes. I don't ride no trains and I don't do no bus. Okay. For my Uber riders, I'm, I, I, I do that. You have a stranger come pick you up. Take you to your destination. You don't know nothing about this person, he or she, and you getting all comfortable blacks on your phone. You don't know where. You don't know who that person is, but you have the confidence. You put the confidence in that person that you don't even know to get you to your destination, right? Okay. For those who are saying, you know what? I don't even take no Uber. I don't do none of that. All right. All right. I'm going to bring it down to all of y'all real quick. Okay. We go to restaurants. <laughs> yeah, I got you there. We go to restaurants all the time, fast food restaurants. We go sit down at restaurants and you don't even know the cook. But guess what? You trust that they going to make that good meal for you and you don't even know the cook and they all over your food. You don't know what type of person preparing your food, right? So you have faith in something or someone. Who do you who do you actually have faith in? See, faith is the vehicle to your future. Okay? It's the vehicle to your future. See, faith is a thought and action that lacks reason and trusting fully in what you cannot explicitly see. You can't see it, but you have faith that this is going to happen, right? Because let's let's X out all of the, the things that we put our, our faith in just just because this is uh in our normal walk. But we need to find something that we can just rely and lean and depend on with no disappointments, boo-boo. See, hope, as I mentioned first, faith is insurance of things hoped for. See, listen to this. Hope is your fuel, okay? You can have fuel, you can have the gas, but if you ain't got the engine, baby, your faith ain't going nowhere. Let's talk faith. See, it doesn't matter what it looks like and what it feels like right now. You have to see yourself before you see yourself. That makes sense? You have to see yourself before you see yourself. So who do you have faith in? Who do you rely on in your daily walk? Who are you leaning on? See, every day is changing. It's changing every day. And your today on tomorrow will be the past. 
You understand what I'm saying? So we're going to go through different things. I sit back and I think about myself 10 years ago. 10 years ago, my life was nowhere near the way it is, the way it is right now. First of all, I only had two kids now and I got three. Um, Things, situations are changing. I go through different things. You're going to go through different things. It's life. But who do you have faith in? Let me tell you something. And I'm going to leave y'all with this because I'm not going to hold you long. If I can get you to start to wonder, then I've done my job. I don't need you to change. I need you to wonder and think about what I'm saying for a minute. If I can get you to wonder a little bit, I'm doing my job. See, we need to put our faith in God. That's where it all, that's what it, that's where it goes. You need to put your faith in God and of course build your relationship with him. Let him guide you. Let him counsel you because you know right now. We trying other things. We putting our faith in other things and people and our money and everything but God. But if you put your faith in God and let him counsel you, let him guide you, let him speak to you, you seek him. It sounds so cliche, y'all. It sounds like it got to be something else. No, this is it. This is the tea. This is all I got to give you. This is it. You put your faith in God and he will speak to you. He will speak to you through his word. He will speak to you through people. You could be reading something to pop up and it will speak directly to you. So today I was, I'm just going to share with you, share this with you and I'm going to get on up out of here. I've been seeking, of course, of course, this is what we do. This is what I do. I've been seeking God and he spoke to me and I want to share with you um, uh, how he spoke to me. So those who are tuned in right now, that who, who's listening, this word is for you because other than that, you wouldn't have sat this far to hear this. So as he spoke, when he spoke to me, I'm going to speak this in your life. So who's ever listening to this? This word is for you, not you, not you, but you. You that are listening, this word is for you. So I was sitting down and I was praying because I'm going through changes. I'm going through changes and God is really, really dealing with me. And he spoke to me through his word. You know, I got my little Bible app and I've been doing my little daily prayer and it helps and it guides me with a better prayer life. And when I was doing that, this scripture spoke to me and it said this, and I'm going to leave y'all with this. This is the T for the week. And those who are listening, this word is for you. I'm going to give it to you. You got it from me. I'm going to speak into your life right now. It's, he said, this is what, what, what popped up when I was praying. He said, <laughs> check this out, y'all. You did not choose me, but I chose you and appointed you so that you might go and bear fruit. Fruit that would last so that whatever you ask in my name, the father will give to you. That's John 15, 16. That's it. He spoke that to me in my life. So anything that I ask for and I'm standing his will and, 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 try, and I'm tap, tapping into my purpose, I'm going to speak that into your life. This message is for you that's tuned in. It's time to get close. I told you, I'm going to say it. I'm going to say it every week. It's time to get close to him because we know what the world, we, we know, we can see what's going around, what's happening around us. Get in tune and open your eyes. I love you so much. Get closer to God, build your relationships, download your Bible apps, start reading your scripture a day, start creating a prayer life. Take that moment in solitude and seek him and he will open that door. It's law. He's going to speak to you. I spoke to spoke to you this week. I hope you receive it. I hope you wise enough to receive it. I love you. God bless you. May he keep you and your families. You continue to pray for me and I will pray for you. Bye.